Corn Tyler here, just doing this video to do a recap of day two of Star Wars Celebration. Um, no, it's probably not completely over yet, but the big panel was the first panel that happened this morning. That was the panel for Star Wars The Last Jedi, and we finally got to see some stuff from that movie. Um, so I'm just going to go through that panel real quick, because I actually watched that entire panel. Um, it started, of course, with Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson. Um, Josh Gad was the MC for this, and honestly, that was great for the. It made this panel extremely funny because he's been releasing all these videos of him harassing Daisy Ridley, trying to get information about the movie, and that came into play a lot in the panel, and um, it was it was really great. Um, but anyway, Ryan Johnson came out and he showed us photos that he took from the set of um, The Last Jedi. And it, he showed some really good behind the scenes stuff. Um, he showed pictures of Captain Phasma and Rey with her little prop lightsaber. And Finn, Poe, and Leia, they were all just chilling on set. And it was really great to see some of those behind the scenes things. And it was just great seeing... Carrie Fisher relaxing on set, being all chill, and probably making John Boyega and Oscar Isaac laugh out loud, as I'm sure I would if I was with her. Um, but anyway, so yeah, he showed us pictures. It was for, it was from the same camera that he took when he was filming Looper. He he took that same camera and was taking pictures of um, the Last Jedi. But anyway, Josh Gad then brought out Daisy Ridley who we all know plays Ray, and she does a wonderful job of it. Um, that's where it got into a little bit more com comedic, because he was like, well, this is about the fans asking questions this time, and I wouldn't, and there's a lot of them, and they seem a little bit hostile, so you might not want to reject their answers this time, and everybody just laughed, and it was a, it was a great time. Um, but Ray gave us more information about her character, what we can expect from this movie. Uh, she said it. This movie is gonna go deeper into Ray thing, and it might not be all what we expected from her and Luke's chemistry. She she was talking about how her character might actually be thinking, like, has an expectation of what she's supposed to expect from Luke and what she's gonna learn and it may fall short of what she was expecting from Luke and that could go into some very interesting plot details so I can't wait for December to see how that's going to play out um, after that they brought out the actual BB-8 droid the one that works they brought it out and that that was just adorable BB-8 and Josh Gad he was talking about how he took a droid over there selling program and him they were just making jokes and he was he was just called BB-8 and then BB-8 of course made the cute little BB-8 noises and he's like apparently Josh Gad said that was him saying he'd rather be called BB-8 because unlike Daisy Ridley he actually has a full name and likes to use it because Bray won't say her last name and he was making fun of her for not knowing if he if she's a Skywalker or Kenobi just trying to get that out for her. didn't work of course but nice try um, then they brought out John Boyega uh, Oscar Isaac could not make it, but they, John Boyer was talking about how it's going to keep advancing Finn and Poe's relationship. I don't know if it's actually going to go into more than friendship. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but I also know a lot of people will get angry because apparently the gay agenda is going everywhere now. And honestly, I kind of see it, even, even though I'm gay. Um, I don't like the fact that people push it and make it a big deal because it shouldn't be a big deal. It should just be natural. Um, and so Disney hasn't said anything on that for sure. Um, I could see it going that way for John Boyega and Oscar Isaac's character. If not, it will be a really good bromance at least. Um, but if so, Disney hasn't said anything on it, which I really like because they don't need to push it like Lionsgate did with Power Rangers. Um, or pretty much any Hollywood thing like oh look we got our first gay blah 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 superhero or something don't do that just make it natural don't push it and make that the reason why 
people need to go see it, it just make it natural and just yeah, just don't do that. Um, then we got to meet a new character. Kelly Marine Tran came out and we learned about her character. She's apparently going to be a big part of this movie. Uh, she plays a girl named Rose, and she's a maintenance worker for the Resistance. Um, but apparently she gets pulled into the adventure with Finn, and so I could see that going on. I did not hear anything about Laura Dern's character, so um, I'm really excited to learn more about her when they finally decide to show some. But anyways, after that, they brought out Luke himself. They brought out Mark Hamill, and he he's just hilarious. Um, he was talking about reading the script from The Force Awakens and he had to do like 50 weeks of training just for that one scene where he pulled off his hood and he was like, are you freaking kidding me? And honestly, that's how I'd react to. And he, he thought he was going to come in earlier in the movie at first, like in the woods with the lightsaber. When it started shaking, he was talking about how he was like, oh, here I come, here I come. And then he he kept reading and it showed the lightsaber going into race and he's like, what? He, she hasn't even been trained. And that was just, that was just a great thing, and and then finally, at the end of the panel, Ryan Johnson almost gave me a heart attack, Ugh. and he almost gave the whole crowd a heart attack. I'm sure, because that's the moment everybody was expecting the new trailer to drop, and he was like, "Well, we got a teaser poster," and you just heard the crowd go, "What?" and then go, "Oh," as soon as he said "poster." Um, in his events, it was a really great poster, and then they acted like they were going to end it. Um, I'll try and put the poster somewhere in the corner. Like I'll put the poster right here so you can see it. It was a really badass poster. Um, but after that, they finally released the first trailer, which I thought was... Oh, um, you can go... I made a reaction video to it. You can go see it. Um, but it was a really, really good teaser trailer. Didn't really get much away, but um, I'm probably going to do a smaller video talking about the trailer itself. Um, so yeah, uh, or I could go, no, this video is already gone long enough. I'll, I'll just do it in another video. Um, but yeah, that was my highlights from the last Jedi panel. Um, leave it in the comments below. What was your favorite moment from this panel? How? What have you thought of Star Wars Celebration 2017 so far? Um, please, please, please share the channel. Um, give me a thumbs up if you can. If not, you don't have to. That's fine. If you didn't like me, that's fine. Um, but yeah, please help me get this channel going. Help subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit that bell. Get notifications whenever I go live or whenever I post another video. Um, and I will see y'all in the next video. Oh, also, patrons, if you can, because I am going to film school, and as you can imagine, that is very, very expensive, and I want to make great content eventually, and I should be getting my new camera and computer next month. Um, I'm getting like a $3,000 video camera, so that should up the quality of my videos, at least a little bit, I'm hoping. Right now, I'm using like a Canon Rebel three um well not for this video this video i'm using my laptop but um yeah so please go